this video, I'll be sharing with you three things you must do to raise your vibration to a fifth dimensional state of consciousness. These are things that if you do will change your entire life. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you those three things that when you begin to do in your life will raise your vibration to a new state of consciousness so that you can start to exist in the new energy, not necessarily new energy, but the energy that is here right now that is available to us as we go through this process of awakening. Now you may be asking yourself, Aaron, what is the fifth dimension? And what does it mean to raise your vibration to the fifth dimension? Well, this has to do with understanding different states of consciousness and not also misinterpreting it because many times people inter misinterpret it. I misinterpreted it a long time ago as well, thinking that the fifth dimension is actually a place, a place that's separate than where we are right now. The truth is, is that the fourth and fifth dimensional states of consciousness are here right now depending on which lens through which we see the world and which state of consciousness we are embodying. Now, let's look at it like this. This is something, this is one of the things that you must understand in order to really raise your vibration to that higher level. And it's first off that you are an immortal spiritual being living a temporary human experience. Now the reason that this is important to understand is because when we identify with just the ego, with just the avatar body that we quote unquote live in, then we end up thinking and limiting ourselves to this small little perspective that is just a fraction of a percentage of who we really are. We're really so much more than that. But what happens is when we are born into this reality, we forget who we are. We forget that we are unconditional love and bliss. We forget that we are naturally at that high level of consciousness, but that we've descended and forgotten who we are because that's one of the parts of this reality. That's what makes this reality so beautiful. Because when you, when we raise or lower our vibration down into a third D, 3D level of consciousness with the avatar body that we have, in order for us to believe it's real, one of the things we do is we forget who we are it's through what is called a veil of forgetfulness. So we forget who we are and then we go through certain life experiences and we have in most of our societies that of social conditioning which means that we're constantly emphasized to be in the stimulus response, to be in that of the senses and because of that we start to identify with what we perceive through our senses. Now because of that we forget our connection to source through the social conditioning and one of the purposes of life is for us to wake up to who we really are. And as we wake up to who we really are, we start to gain more of our abilities back, higher dimensional states of consciousness. We start to literally feel better. We start to raise our vibration and everything changes. And you here on the planet right now are here to go through this ascension of vibration. We're doing it collectively together. And we are doing it in a way to where we do it here. Back in the day when there was ascension, you think of the Mayans, you think of as different civilizations, when they would ascend to higher levels of vibration, they would completely do it in body and many times they would leave and go to a quote unquote different place. However, what we are doing, what makes this so special now is collectively, we're all going through this raise in vibration, some at different rates than others. And sometimes part of the process is seeing things come up that are maybe negative because we can then clear it. But nonetheless, we are raising our vibration to where we are letting go of the old, old structures are falling down because as we raise our vibration and understand more and more of who we are, we're going to begin to exist in a completely new type of reality and it's happening right now. It has been happening and it will continue to happen. So the fact that you are even into this content first off is showing that you are on the leading edge because there's a lot of people that are still completely asleep to this. They wouldn't even come across a video that said something with a fifth dimension on it and if they did, they wouldn't even click on it because they wouldn't be and it wouldn't resonate with them. But the thing is, is you are on the leading edge and if you're watching this video, you are also a light worker which means that when you came here, one of the missions you had was to carry light from higher dimensional states of consciousness here to help awaken other people. Doesn't mean that you have to broadcast this information, you have to be on YouTube like me, 
It just means that by you being and being in this vibration, you raising your own vibration, you affect everyone else around you. And when it comes to this of raising our vibration to this fifth dimensional state of consciousness, let's first off understand a little bit more about what that is. 3D level of consciousness is duality. Think of 3D like we're looking through our eyes. We have left brain, right brain, light, dark, up, down, the polarization. In 3D, there is also normally a lot of control because there's this, there's this control of information. There's this control of uh, where the energy goes. People are identified with their egos, so they want to control it. It's identification with the avatar body. Now a 4D level of reality is when we bring into that of more flexibility. 3D is very solid, 4D becomes a little bit less solid, becomes a little bit less fixed. You can think of 4D as that of life becoming more like a dream, time becoming a little bit more slippery. You may have had times where time just flows by. The fourth dimension is more about vibration. The paradigm that we're moving into and we are beginning to ascend through is manifestation normally in 3D is massive, massive action, banging around to get things done. 4D is more about vibrational resonance, more about being here now, embodying the emotions you want now, understanding that the more you view your life as a dream, the more dreamlike your life will become. That is 4D reality. And in 4D reality, there is still an option of a perspective of duality, light, good, good, bad, light, dark, you know what I mean. There's still that option there. 5D level of reality is where we begin to exist more and seeing people as connected to us. It has to do with more with understanding that we are unconditional love and bliss. What we put out comes back to us because what we do to someone else, we do to another aspect of ourselves. So you wouldn't treat people any way that you wouldn't treat yourself. So it's about also being in the heart space, being, thinking and doing is the 3, 4D mentality, being in a higher state, being love, transcending intellectual thoughts. That is the fifth dimension. Fifth dimension is when our light bodies are more activated. It's when we literally start to take on more of our true potential, more of our DNA will be activated. And it is more of who we really are. We realize more of our multidimensionality, that we exist at many different levels at the same time. So these perspectives and these feelings, these vibrations of 5D reality is an option we can see right now. 4D reality is an option we can see right now. 3D reality is an option we can see right now. It'll be different rates of vibration depending on different people on the planet. Now, the first thing you must do in order to raise your vibration to a fifth dimensional state of consciousness is you must take responsibility for your life. This will sound harsh to some people. They're like, Aaron, I've been through so much. How can I take responsibility for the child abuse that I went through? For these very negative experiences that I have, how can I take responsibility for that? Well, the key is not taking responsibility for what happened. The key is to take responsibility for how you responded to what happened. Remember, the most important thing is your state of being, not what actually happened. And I've been through that. I've been through pain growing up. I've been through, had an abusive ex stepmom in my life, had complete control to where I wasn't allowed to do anything. I know what it's like. But I also took responsibility for how I responded to that and I integrated those emotions. And by integrating those emotions, I released the patterns to where there's no longer in my life. Because for a long time, I carried around the pattern of my ex stepmom, of that control, that blame. And I would attract similar experiences. I had, I had managers, even years after, I never have to see her again, managers that had the same personality traits. Ex-girlfriends that had similar personality traits. Until I dealt with it and I integrated it, they remained patterns in my life. All of a sudden, I deal with it, those leave my life and I don't have to deal with it ever again. And I raise my vibration and that pain from my past led me to my spiritual awakening in 2012. And the most painful things you've been through may be the most beautiful things that wake you up to being an immortal spiritual being living a temporary human experience. But you must take responsibility for it. Also, many people, they just don't take responsibility for the thoughts and the emotions and the direction of the thoughts they have. 
When you start to put your thoughts more in the direction of what you want to experience, the understanding that you create your own reality, then what happens is things in your life begin to change because then you're giving it direction. Most people live in the autopilot mind. So the key to this is being aware of it. The other thing you want to do is neutralize the past. See it not as bad or good, but it just simply is. Observe your thoughts. When you do this, you begin to disengage from that of the 3D reality. It no longer has power over you. You must first off neutralize it in order to move beyond it. Now, the second thing that you must do in order to raise your vibration to a fifth dimensional state of consciousness is you must understand that your beliefs are creating your reality. Whatever you believe to be true. Do you believe the world is good? Do you believe the world is bad? Do you believe that things come to you easily? Do you believe that you have to work hard for it? Do you believe that there are loving people in your life? What do you believe about reality? Whatever you believe to be true is going to be reflected back to you. When you become aware of your beliefs, you can then change from the inside out because all the outer reflection is in our life. Everything in our life on the outside is just a reflection of the inside. So the more that you take accountability for it and the more that you become aware of what you believe to be true is the more that you're going to be able to transcend 3D paradigms. Because in your definitions itself, you will find those beliefs and many times those beliefs are tied to the 3D reality. Oh, this is the way reality is. Reality is bad. Things get worse with age. All of these beliefs, they're social conditioning. They're not who you are. They're on the autopilot mind. Become aware of these beliefs. Become aware of your definitions. Become aware of the language you use. And then see everything in your life as a choice. Because as you do that, you start to gain your power back. Understand that this is more of a 4D perspective because in the fourth dimension it's about understanding that everything is a reflection. It's all about vibrational resonance. What do you believe to be true? Because your reality will always be a reflection of what you believe to be true. It will be equal to that. So become aware of it, then you begin to change your reality. You then start to live more in the dream world than the illusory dream world. The one that we identify with as our avatar because it's solid, we can make noises like with our hands and stuff. <laughs> so when we look at someone like Einstein, he calibrated on that scale of consciousness that I always share at about a 499, a scale of 0 to 1000. 400 to 500 is a level of vibration of the intellect, beliefs create our reality. Think of it as four, fourth dimensional state of consciousness, which is ironic because it's the 400s. Einstein himself calibrated at 499. In order for him to get to 500, which is love, he would have had to let go of all the intellectual ideas. That's why the third thing you must do in order to get into the fifth dimension or to raise your vibration to the fifth dimension is to let go of all the intellectual ideas, all the beliefs that we just worked on in the fourth dimension, understand it as simply a choice, but let it go and just be in the present moment right now. B. Shift out of thinking and doing and into being. Be in your heart center. Experience reality for yourself. Because the more you are here now, the more that you begin to experience more of what you want because more of your energy is coming through. That is the key. It's being in the present moment right now. So when we start to see this, we could see that the more we raise our vibration as well, the more divine we will acknowledge within ourselves. We are all divine beings. A piece of the puzzle that we call source energy, that we call God, whatever label we want to give it, we are all divine. When you look at enlightened people of the past or enlightened people now that can do magical things, read the book Autobiography of a Yogi. You'll see someone who is enlightened that had gurus in India that could do things that you literally think are impossible. Things like levitate, teleport, plant ideas in people's minds. But the only reason these enlightened people can do that is because they do it from a divine will from understanding that they are a piece of source energy and that so is everyone else, but they embody that. We can embody it too. The more we embody the divine part of who we are, the more we will raise our vibration into these higher states. You are divine. 
That is who you are. The more you recognize your divinity and the divinity in other people, the more your vibration will begin to raise. We came here to understand, to realize, and to embody our divine light. Begin to understand that that is who you are. You come from higher states of consciousness of unconditional love and peace, higher vibrational states, light bodies that were much less physical than this, but we've come here to experience this and we are going to continue to raise our vibration. So these are the three things that you must do in order to raise your vibration. Take responsibility for where you are. Choose to put your thoughts in more powerful direction. Become aware of the beliefs you have. Your beliefs create your reality and then simply be in the present moment. Exist in your heart space and watch your life begin to change. One of the most powerful meditations I have is for raising your vibrational set point. So as you start to exist in these higher states of consciousness, you'll see it in the top of the description box below. You can download it. Let's do it for 21 days and watch what happens. Also, I'll be doing more live Q&As on Instagram. So if you want to see native content to Instagram plus interact and ask me questions, you'll see my Instagram right here. I post every single day there plus a lot of stories and behind the scenes stuff. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear next to the subscribe button so you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.